Breaking news out of Toronto. A shooting has occurred outside the home of Canadian rapper Drake. The incident occurring in the wake of Drake's ongoing beef with fellow rapper Kendrick Lamar. CP24's Courtney Heels is on the scene with more. What is the deal, y'all, man? Welcome to another episode of the On Everything Podcast, man. We got some unfortunate news. Um, I don't know if you want to speculate and try to connect the two, but um, there was a shooting in Toronto this morning at Drake's Mansion. Um, it was said to be his bodyguard, and it was a drive-by shooting by one male, which there's no information on, car, whoever it was police haven't gotten into the details but i'm gonna take you guys and we're gonna play the uh news report as far as what happened in toronto um this there's early morning in there so um let's go ahead and dig into it man I ho hopefully fingers crossed this had nothing to do with the beef going on between kendrick lamar and not really beef just a rap battle you know what i mean but you do have stands out there that um take their loyalty to to their superstars to heart and feel like that they must act and, and you know what i mean be involved in this when it should just be for the listener's pleasure and not to get involved physically or um with the intent to cause bodily harm so with that being said man we're gonna go ahead and dive into the the news report in toronto of where this happened once again there was a shooting at drake's mansion in toronto and said to be um his bodyguard one of the security guys um, did take a couple of shots from what, what they said. So let's go ahead and dig into it. There is a pretty heavy police presence along this road. This is Park Lane Circle. It's the street that Drake lives on. Uh, this is as close to the scene as we can get. You can see uh, they have a Toronto police van here, a couple of officers blocking the, the road, also yellow police tape here too. Now, Chopper 24, that's our newsroom helicopter, was able to get over Drake's home earlier. And in that video, we saw some yellow police tape in the courtyard of his home. Also some people going in and out of. So usually when you have cones like that, that's how they mark evidence, probably um, shell casings. Um, so I see one, two, three, four, um, cones there. So that maybe the, the shooting happened on the grass, but yes, it, they said it happened out front. So, um, um let me go ahead and, and finish seeing what this uh, reporter is saying. Of the house. And I, as you reported that CP24 reporting, there is a source confirming there was a shooting right of his home. Uh, we do not know if Drake was home at the time. And this is all happening in the wake of this ongoing feud with another artist, Kendrick Lamar. We don't know if there's a connection here just yet. Uh, we are in touch with Toronto police to see if they can share any more on this investigation. Uh, they are staying pretty tight lipped, but what I can also tell you, police are sharing that they are investigating a shooting in this general area uh, where we are. This is the Bridal Path neighborhood. Uh, police say they were called to the Lawrence and Bayview area at about two in the morning. That's really close to where we are uh, at that time. That was a shooting investigation and police and paramedics told us uh, a man, an adult was rushed to hospital with serious injuries and they were still looking for a suspect scene leaving the area. Now we We've reached out to police to see, okay, is that shooting that was pretty very close to that connected to them? And they're just not saying just yet. We expect an update us pretty soon, especially given the attention uh, this is getting this morning at, at right now. But the latest on this breaking news, a shooting outside of Drake's home happened sometime overnight. Uh, we don't have any for details. We don't know if the artist was there, but uh, this is a pretty significant police presence in this neighborhood. Marcia, as I say, this is as close as we can get. I was it's actually on the other side of the room uh, and again, entirely blocked off cruisers. And we can not really see from this vantage point, but our chopper overhead was able to show us uh, police in the courtyard of the home. And there's some yellow police tape up there too. Okay. you. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Um, it's news, it's content, it's what happened. 
Um, I hope the brother makes it um, and, and, and survives this. And I, and I, I truly hope that this um, this rap battle doesn't go in, go into the streets like this, bro, which it's kind of hard to believe since they're way in Toronto. I don't, but at the same time, you do have fans that are, and, and the word fan come from fanatic. So you got fanatics or stands that will go th to the lengths of um, getting involved in a negative way. So I hope they don't put a black eye on hip hop. I hope this is, is something that's contained and, and something that was something not related to the, um, to the rap battle. So with that being said, man, I'm Lunatic, man. This has been the On Everything podcast with breaking news. There was a there was a shooting in Toronto at Drake's mansion. Um, one man um shot, I think multiple times they said, but I'm not sh I'm not sure if he's uh deceased or if he's still um alive. So um prayers to him and his family, man. I hope they get through this, man, and I hope this is not <laughs> carrying over from a rap battle you feel me so with that being said man please subscribe like share leave a comment man hit that notification bell while you at it man it's for the f man i'm lunatic this is the on everything podcast right here on paper hound tv man i'm out this b i itch ha <laughs> ha